What is going on you guys? Welcome back to another video and to the channel. So I have had my GTS style taillights installed on my BMW F30 right next to me here for about two and a half years now. And recently I've been wanting to change these out for something new and different. And that is exactly what I am going to be doing. In this video, I'm gonna be changing out these GTS style taillights for clear lens LCI style taillights. Now for the longest time, actually, I have been considering doing just the regular red LCI style look, the OEM look that comes on actual LCI F30s. But as you guys know me, I like to do things that not everyone else is doing, so that is why I decided to do the clear lens LCI style taillights. So anyway, without wasting any more time here, let's take a look at these new clear lens LCI style taillights. So here are the new clear lens LCI style taillights, and as you guys can see, they are identical to the LCI look. The only difference is that these are white or clear lens and not red. And I honestly think these look pretty cool and definitely unique, which is what I'm going for with these. I want something different that looks different than most other taillights you see on cars on the road. Now, despite being, you know, clear lens or white, they still have the red lighting functions and yellow turn signal look. So like the DRLs, like this piece right here, it's still red. The brake light, which is back there, is still red. And then the turn signal, which is up here and is sequential, is yellow. So they still light up like you know, a regular taillight in red and yellow. Uh, the only difference is that just the the main look appearance is just white and clear lens. So yeah, nothing crazy. I do think the GTS style looks very aggressive and also unique, but since they've become so popular, they kind of lost their uniqueness. Since you know, a lot of people have them installed on their F30 or F32s, or F80, F82s, and I want to have a different look that not uh, everyone has. I have seen a few other F80s and F30s uh, with these on, like on Instagram, but it is very few. I have not seen many um, other F30 owners or F80 owners with this style taillight. Now these are installed exactly like the GTS style taillights, so nothing new here for the installation. I have already done a video on how to install the GTS taillights I have on the car right now. So I don't think I'll do like an in-depth, you know, DIY on how to install these since I've already pretty much done a video on that. I'll just do like a, you know, summarized shortened version with, you know, just more footage of just me just installing it and then showing you guys the final results of these taillights and how they look and function and everything. So yeah, I think that is everything. Um, so I'll go ahead and start removing these GTS style taillights so that I can install the new clear lens. Alright, so I just finished removing the GTS style taillights. It was pretty straightforward. I pretty much remembered exactly how to remove everything. So now that the GTS style taillights are out, 
we can go ahead and get ready to install the clear lens. So I have all of the taillight pieces in place now and everything is connected. So now I'm going to go ahead and turn the car on and activate these taillights so that way we get our first look at how these look when they're illuminated and to make sure everything works and functions properly and all that. So let's go ahead and take a look here. So here are what the DRLs look like. As I stated, they illuminate red, even though they aren't, you know, red on the lens. They still illuminate a very bright LED red, which looks very cool. And I can't close the trunk all the way since I have the stuff in the way, but from what I can tell so far, the LCI style is gonna look really good once I finish putting everything back together. So, like I said, these are the DRLs. I mean, are they DRLs, actually, since these are only on when you have the headlights on. Um, but I'll just call them DRLs, whatever, or standing lights. I guess that's another name for them. But uh, anyway, let's go ahead and check the turn signals now. So I'll go ahead and activate the hazards real quick. So here are the turn signals, and these are supposed to be sequential, so let's take a look here. And there you guys see, it is a sequential turn signal. And I honestly think it looks a lot better than the turn signal that's on the GTS style taillights. I kind of don't like how that one looks. Uh, that one's also sequential. But I don't know, I just kind of don't like the shape of it. This one looks a lot better. And also another issue, or not issue, but like a little quirk with these GTS taillights. The turn signal isn't very bright when it's daytime and you use a turn signal. It's kind of hard to see if it's in like direct sunlight. That's one thing I noticed about the GTS style taillights that I kind of didn't like. But hopefully these will look a lot better during the day. Uh, I won't know till like I start driving with these. But these are very bright from what I can tell and they look really clean. It's the other side. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and check the brake lights and the reverse lights. Uh Alright, so everything seems to be working properly with these taillights, so now I'm going to go ahead and finish reinstalling everything and cleaning up, and then we'll get a nice look at these new ClearLens LCI taillights. Thank you. 
So it's been a couple weeks since I installed these taillights, so I've been able to get my overall thoughts and opinion on them. So just being completely honest with you guys, these taillights do not have that much to offer. All these taillights really offer is just a very, you know, different, unique look that looks nothing like, you know, usual taillights since most of the taillights are red. Now I do have the DRLs on right now. But when they are not on and it just has the complete, you know, clear silver look, it gives it a very, very different uh, look that I think stands out, obviously, compared to other taillights that you can get for the F30 and just other taillights uh, from other cars in general on the road since, as we know, regular taillights are red. But since I have the DRLs on right now, it's giving it, you know, a red color and not just, you know, the complete clear look, but they do not look that good when they're on during the day. They only look good when they're on like at night or in the evening, like right now. And I'll explain why in a second here. So yeah, these taillights are for someone who is looking for just something completely different and unique. And that's going for a more, you know, exotic look not really a clean or you know OEM looking taillight because these are far from looking OEM other than having the LCI style you know design but yeah that is all these taillights really offer is just a different look they really don't look the best and they really don't look that clean um, but like I said they look very unique and they do look kind of cool but it's just kind of too different and it just looks kind of off to some people or most people I feel like. So there are a couple things I kind of don't like about these taillights and there's a few things I do like about these taillights. Starting with the things I don't like, taking a look at the DRLs right now, which is the part that's lit up in red. If you, I think you can see it on camera, but it really doesn't have a really red look. It kind of has a pinkish red look. Uh, I would like it if it had more of a deeper, you know, like rich red look. But right now, since the sun is still out, it's giving off a pinkish red color, which I kind of don't really like. Doesn't look the best. At night, when the sun is gone completely down, it does look a lot better. So yeah, that's one thing I kind of don't like. But I mean, it's really not that big of a deal since these would only be on whenever I have my headlights on at night. So I won't really have to see this that often. I just have them on right now to show you guys. The other thing I don't like but I can change is that the reverse lights, I don't know if you guys noticed when I was reversing, they are, they are not LED, they are just regular halogen. And I didn't realize that when I got them. I just really didn't really think about it, I just assumed they came with LEDs, but they do not. I'm not sure why uh, they don't, but that is the case with these. However, you can change these to LEDs just like you can with, you know, original LCI taillights. So I think I'm going to do that at some point because I really don't like the halogen look. Since everything else is LED, it doesn't make any sense for the reverse lights to be not LED. Also, I did encounter one issue with the driver's side taillight. Uh, right after I installed them, I noticed that the brake light, which is in this area right here, it was flickering every time I would step on the brake. The passenger side was not flickering, but I easily resolved that by going onto Beamer Code, and I just had to code in that the brake light was an LED conversion, and as soon as I did that, the flickering went away and it hasn't come back. So that was an easy fix, really not that big of a deal. So yeah, Beamer Code has been very useful lately with my headlight upgrade and now with these new taillights. So I definitely recommend you guys get Beamer Code if you don't have it already and you have a BMW. Lots of useful coding features on there. One thing I really do like about these headlights that I like better than the GTS style taillights are the turn signals. With the GTS taillights, the turn signal on those was not very bright and during the day whenever you would use your turn signal, you can't really see it that well. Um, and honestly, I feel like some people wouldn't even be able to see it at all, so they wouldn't know you would have your turn signal on. At night, obviously, it looks a lot better, but during the day, you really cannot see anything. But the turn signals on these taillights are so much brighter, and they just look so much better, in my opinion, also, with the design. Now, these are sequential, as I mentioned earlier, along with the GTS-style turn signals. I'll just go ahead and turn them on so I can show you guys, you know, what they look like. So yeah, these turn signals are so much brighter, 
and like I said I think they look better in terms of you know the design and I feel like the sequential motion is a lot smoother than the ones on the GTS style taillights so yeah just overall these turn signals are a lot better than the GTS style taillights so yeah guys my overall opinion on these taillights is that I like them but I don't think they look the best or are the greatest I honestly think the GTS style taillights look a lot better and more aggressive in design these have more of a OEM you know simple design since it has the identical LCI style look to them and the clear lens look I thought would be better but now you know having them in person I honestly don't think it's the best it looks cool and unique but that is about it so uh, yeah guys those are my thoughts and opinion on these taillights I don't want to continue dragging this video on that much longer but uh, doing a quick little walk around now with these taillights and the recently installed LCI style headlights by the way, now that the taillights are LCI and the headlights are LCI, this pretty much just looks like an LCI F30 with, you know, the B58. But obviously, you guys know it's not. It's just a pre-LCI with the N55. And it pretty much just looks like your average F30 340 build. Um, but as I said before, still looks super clean in my opinion. I really like how the F30 has come together in these last few months with the M Performance front lip, the LCI style headlights, and the paint matched GTS hood. So as you could have guessed, these taillights are available on inline6auto.com along with the GTS style taillights. As usual, I'll leave a link to those in the description of this video if any of you guys are interested in maybe checking those out and getting your set for yourself. So I think that's going to do it for this video. As usual, thank you guys for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe for more content like this if you liked what you saw. Anyway, I will see you guys in the next video.